Hi, I'm Andrew Armstrong. Welcome to the Back Office Teardown Lab. Today we're continuing our Pringles mic and speaker discombobulation. If you didn't catch that, you can catch the previous video. We're actually dismantling the microphone today. We already did the speaker. It was pretty standard stuff. Four screws. Let's jump in. Now the speaker did have a few very stiff screws. Now as you know, microphones are very low, I don't know what you, what they are, low current. I'm not an analog electronics guy. So the problem is they need amplifying. So devices like this have to have amplifiers inside, that's why it's got batteries. It actually says on the back there, with built-in amplifier and connecting plug. How useful to have a connecting plug. It'd be quite awkward to try to hook this up without one. I'm going to have a look underneath the battery door because there may well be... Oh no, we don't need to. It did just pop straight off nicely. Look at this, isn't this fantastic? It's so simple. So wonderfully simple. So there's your microphone sitting right there. And we did some tests with this, it's not that bad. In fact, I could be recording this with this mic right now if I was that way inclined, but let's not disturb that. I'm gonna try to just lift it out. Let's see what we can do. You can see there's the hole in there and there's the microphone that's gonna be in there among this big wad of foam. hear it cricking and cracking so I think it's glued in a little bit. Oh there we go, a bit of force, a bit of brute force and ignorance. So it's sitting on a kind of foam base that's insulating it that way. It's your traditional, I guess these are condenser microphones. Um, I'd have to double check that but yeah they've got a polarity in other words there's a bias that goes up these wires. In fact we could probably put in the bolt there. I learned speaking English. I can try putting a voltmeter on that later. Let's see under here. You can see there's an electrolytic cap, but underneath there is a chip. There is an IC. Can we read it? A TDA2822M. For those of you playing at home, can you identify the preamp chip? That's all there is to it really, pre-amplifier, on off switch, LED, see the LED right there. Should we have a play with the meter here? I do believe we will. If we're lucky, we should be able to pick up the bias voltage here. So with the power off, nothing. With the power on, there you go. 1.75 volts. And that's all there is to it. If you need an amplified microphone in any of your gadgets, I think you could do a lot worse than just popping this PCB out using your own battery snap or just gluing this inside whatever you're trying to make and you've got a lovely pre-amplified microphone. Please feel free to leave comments down below and click subscribe and let me know if you've had your bits of fun with a Pringles tin. Oh hang on. Whoa 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 Nelly. There's something else here. Look. A PKM 923A. Maybe this board's available elsewhere. Let me resume where I was, as ever. Thank you for watching.